Hello, I hope everyone is doing well. Today I will be speaking on the movie Interstellar, a brief explanation on this plot. In the beginning of the story, we see that the earth is dying and the soil has stopped supporting the growth of plants, and so more people adopted the profession of farming. Our main character, Cooper, who was originally a NASA pilot, is also doing farming as the world needs more farmers. Cooper lives in a small town with his daughter Murph, son Tom, and his father-in-law Donald. His wife expired a few years back due to cancer. Cooper and his family were living a normal life until a sandstorm appeared. They rushed back home to escape the storm, but Cooper and Murph found some weird form of pattern in Murph's bedroom. They were able to identify there was a binary code and it was actually coordinates. Murph and Cooper went to the marked coordinates to def- discover that it was a secret base by NASA which had been rumored to be shut down because they were going to drop a bomb on starving people. Inside the NASA base, a team led by Doc- Professor Brand were building a rocket which is scheduled to go out in search of a new planet which has all the organic necessities for human survival. Professor Brand invited Cooper to pilot the ship and join the mission, as Cooper was one of the best pilots NASA ever had. The ship was originally supposed to go through a wormhole which appeared 50 years ago to reach another galaxy and find another suitable planet. Cooper agreed to join the mission as he wanted a safe place for his children in the future. Now Cooper, Dr. Brand, Dr. Romilly, and Dr. Doyle, Tars, and Case set their journey off wherein they had to travel to planet Saturn to go into the wormhole. And the crew had to choose between three worlds that were orbiting around the black hole Gargantua. The crew chose the closest planet, Miller's planet, because it, under, because it was understood that it had water and other organic substances to survive. There was a catch, though. Every hour spent on the planet will be equal to seven years on Earth due to high gravitational force. Hence, they should get the samples and fly back as soon as possible. When they reached, they realized that the planet was only made of water and had giant waves, so they couldn't stay there for long. Unfortunately, Dr. Doyle got drifted away by a giant wave, and when they got back up, they came back after 23 years. By this time, Cooper's kids were already grown up, and now Murph works with Professor Brand and NASA. Now the crew had set a course to fly to other planets to continue their research, but they can either fly to two planets, Dr. Mann's planet and Edmund's planet, or fly to one of the planets and head back home. They do not have enough fuel to cover both planets and head home. Comparatively, Dr. Mann's data broadcast was a lot more positive, hence the team decided to go to Mann's planet. Dr. Mann and the crew were sent to the planet before to study. Cooper's crew met Dr. Mann, and Mann explains that beneath the snow and ice, there's a surface with life. Cooper and Mann sets out to explore the planet. So he took Cooper with him to show and lead them to the surface. On the way to the surface, Dr. Mann reveals that the planet is actually ininhabitable and sent out falsified data so he could get rescued. Now Dr. Mann doesn't want his secret to go out, and so... That's why he pushed Cooper down the mountain and took the ranger to fly over the Endurance and fly to the third planet. Cooper somehow managed to get in touch with Dr. Brand, who rescued him. With TARS, they flew back to the Endurance, but noticed that Dr. Mann is trying to dock without authorization, which eventually leads to the explosion of Dr. Mann's lander. By this time, Dr. Brand and Cooper learned that NASA's plan from the beginning was to send out a set of scientists to find a habitable planet with 3,000 human embryos to help the human race from getting extinct. Dr. Amelia Brand and Cooper managed to successfully dock their endurance but realized they they do not have enough fuel. The crew decided to slingshot around the black hole to reach Edmund's planet. Due to lack of fuel, they had to shed weight, so Cooper sent TARS off the space and himself got detached from the main ship. This way, the rest of the crew could reach the third planet safely. Cooper's lander unfortunately fell into the black hole, and inside the black hole, his lander got wrecked. He found himself in a fifth dimension created in the third dimension, created by the future people. He realized that his daughter is the chosen one, and and one future wanted Cooper to help his daughter solve the gravity equation. Cooper managed to send codes to his daughter, who is a super smart scientist, cu- captured all the codes through the watch. Once his job is over, he found himself passed out in space orbit 
and was found by a surveillance team. Cooper woke up to a place which he later realized was Cooper Station, where his daughter managed to build a safe station, and she managed to bring Earthlings with her safety. Mr. Murphy's was counting on her last few days, and she could see her father. She always believed he would come back. Murphy explained that Dr. Brennan is somewhere out there looking for a habitable planet, and he should go search for his crew that was still out in space. And then the movie ended.